right, what's going on boys and girls, I guess? There's some of y'all. Um, all right, so today it's gonna be a, a pretty quick video because it's about to rain on us and I think we're about to hit, get hit by this hurricane everybody's talking about. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, so today's gonna be a little short video and it's gonna be basically over my camera settings because all I get, well not all I get, but a lot of the things I get are like what's your GoPro settings, all that stuff. So, so we're gonna go over it basically in this video. Um, just cause I get the question so much and I'd rather be able to like show people a video, I guess, like a full good video of like all the settings that I use and like certain situations I use different settings. So it's all about what, what you're looking for. Yeah, so we're just gonna ride around. I'm just gonna kind of talk about like everything, everything that we got going on. First, first things first is ND filters. So what makes my, what makes motion blur on the bike and uh, like added saturation, cause I don't edit like post, post processing, which is like in like uh, Adobe and stuff like that. I don't edit any, any of it. processing I don't edit like I don't edit anything right it's all that's just straight from the GoPro to Adobe if that makes sense so like I don't I don't put on a color correction I don't put on a color correction or anything like that because I don't have to um, GoPro is just like the colors are so vibrant first of all I have the Hero 11 so to be able to do everything that I do with my settings, you have to have the Hero 11. Um, you, you can't have the Hero 10 because the Hero 11 is the first one that has um, hyper view, which is like the super wide view that you guys, that a lot of you guys really like. The, the 11 is like one of the only ones that has that. So. So the, Go the 11 is the only one that has that. The 10 does not have hyperview, but you can still get really crispy shots. I will put um, the GoPro 10 versus the 11 and kind of like show you a comparison. I would say besides getting the really wide view, there isn't much difference between the 10 and the 11. And I've had both. So I would say if you're looking for that really wide view that I get to where like it's like the FOV is like really, really high, then I would say um, you need to get the 11. But if you're just looking for like crispy quality GoPro footage that isn't like super wide view, just get the 10, save yourself some money and use that money to buy ND filters and uh, a media mod. Because you need a media mod for your to be able to pick up um, sound. Like how people can hear my help me in my helmet right now, I'm using a media mod. I'm using a microphone that's ran through my entire helmet to a media mod. Um, and then I have my, um, what's it called? I have my mic, like my actual microphone. It is plugged into, uh, what's it called? They're not plugged in, it's, it's behind my cheek pad on my left side because I've just found that it makes it easier that way. But. Are you teaching? Huh? Are you teaching? Yes. I'm putting on my youngins with how to have the best settings in the world. Um, but yeah, so. ND filter is what gets you that, that like crisp motion blur that you're probably seeing right now. So the ND filter basically, how I look at it is, I'm, okay, I'm not a, I'm not like a professional photographer. I don't know much about anything. But I do know is that the ND filter is kind of like sunglasses for your for your actual camera, right? So with that being said, there's things that you have to do with your ND filter to get it the quality that you want. And you there's certain settings that I have that you can't use unless you have an ND filter. 
So these settings that I'm gonna show you are strictly for if you own an ND filter or are planning on buying an ND filter. She's always staring at me. Always staring. <laughs> you want to just copy these settings basically the best you can. Um, I wouldn't use anything else because if you want my, if you want how my camera looks, you'll copy everything I do. If that makes sense, right? All right, boys. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the on the uh, highway. Yeah. Look at her. Uh-oh, look at her. big so like it moves around too much I need to get the I need to get the other cheek pads oh look at her back <laughs> oh, she's gonna be like oh my god my back is showing so bad <laughs> Want to find a spot for some pictures? But yeah, guys, that's basically the whole the whole moto vlog setup that I have, and so far it's worked great because I get questions literally daily on like, what's the what's your moto vlog setup? What camera do you use? Where's your mic placed? All that stuff. So I was just trying to kind of like bank all of them off the list. Um, and yeah. So hopefully this gave you guys all the knowledge that you need to be able to start vlogging yourself. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's about it. We're just, I don't even know where we are right now. 